Welcome to the Fishwash Club podcast. In this show, we will be chatting to leaders, influencers, wine producers, restaurants, international importers, and other role players in the wine industry, and many more. Tune in every week for our latest episode. You will find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram TV, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to the Fishwives Club podcast. Um, today, we're talking to um, Peter Ruiz from uh, The Wine Oak. Good day, Peter. How are you? Good day. Well, fine. Thank you. And yourself? I'm great. Thank you. And I um, just want to say thank you for actually spending the time coming um, onto the, our podcast. I um, really appreciate it. We know you're busy. No, thanks very much for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Peter, just um, I, I think our listeners will be interested as a start. Um, would you tell us... Um, uh, a bit more about yourself and um, how you got involved in um, the wine industry. Well, yes, actually, um, I have I had no connection with the wine industry prior to March this year. Um, I actually uh, come out of the motor industry. F- you know, my whole career has been spent in that, so this is a total mind shift and a change for myself. And it happened when a, f- a very good friend of mine, a personal friend, Patrick Robertson, the CEO of the Fishwas Club offered me the opportunity to help grow his brand in Gauteng specifically, and it's now changed to the rest of South Africa. So that's how I actually got involved in, in the wine industry. Oh, that's awesome. So you, you're a newbie, is that what you're saying? Absolutely. Okay, well, tell us, uh, and, and uh, wine yourself, are you a wine, you're obviously a wine drinker. Uh, that sounds, yes, I am. That's, <laughs> yes, I, 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 I am indeed, Will. Let's rather put it different. You're a wine lover. Absolutely. That's the right one. Yeah. That is the right word. So your business um, is called um, The Wine Oak. Can you tell us a bit more about what The Wine Oak does and what The Wine Oak will be doing in the future? Yes, well, we're, a, we're an online um, shop selling the Fishwives Club boutique wine. So we are physically based in Pretoria. And um, we will then be selling the wine online and having it delivered to our customers throughout South Africa by a World Net Express, the Korea company. Okay, that is interesting. So you guys are going um, the direct-to-consumer route? Yes, we've, we've actually, myself and Patrick had a chat, um, and he said this, this, uh, this COVID-19 situation has forced people to think differently, and... Uh, we, we believe that the, the forward and backward integration, going back to your, you know, towards your supply and to your end user, cutting out the middlemen, actually is, to, is beneficial for the customers. There's, there's a saving cost to, to item, and we believe that should be passed on directly to the customer. Oh, that is amazing. So people, um, I'm so you've, you've got an online store, I presume, where people can come and then um, click and buy. That's correct, yes. Very straightforward, uh, very, very easy to navigate. And uh, and I think it's actually quite a quite a, a nice looking site as well. Okay, Peter, do you guys um, are are you are you going to sell only the Fishwives Club um, wine, or are you going to sell other products as well? No, exclusively the Fishwives Club uh, wine. Well, we're not going to we're not going to look at any other brand except the Fishwives Club. Okay, well, the Fishwives Club um, has been uh, quite uh, the brand has been growing quite significantly. I've noticed that. The brand is um, uh, quite visible in places like the Netherlands and in Belgium um, and um, in Canada. And um, uh, uh, I think even in the, in the US, it's starting to sell. Um, how do you, I mean, I mean the, the, uh, it seems that uh, Patrick has been um, focusing on export sales in the last few years. How do you expect the South African market to be receptive to the brand? Well, yes, that's 100% right. He's currently exporting to, to nine European, or let me just say foreign countries, and uh, decided that the local market obviously also needs to have the benefit of having the wine. And I have spoken to various people, um, interested parties, um, re- being private people, restauranteurs, retail groups. And uh, um, 
what's so amazing about the brand, and that's exactly why Patrick got involved in it in the first place, is when the people see the branding on the bottles of wine, it's the reaction is is um, is incredible. They just absolutely love it. So I believe it's gonna it's gonna take off like a house on fire, and it's really gonna be be an amazing brand, and it's gonna be out there and visible to the to the people here. Okay, that that's that's awesome. So um, when is your um, online store actually um, going to be live? Uh, with, when, can people already order or, or how does it work? Well, at this stage, um, it's physically uh, ordering via email, but the, the, the click on the purchases will be able to, um, to take place from the 1st of September. So you brought back to... up and running and we're just finishing the back end um, uh, programming and, and what have you. I'm not an IT specialist, but they're uh, just completing that and then we will be ready to go on the 1st of September. Oh, that sounds awesome. So it's fairly quickly um, before you guys are, are going. So, um, uh, Peter, how are you um, going to uh, market this? What is, your, what is your strategy in terms of getting the story of the Fish Rush Club out to um, consumers? Well, from, from us, from our personal side, we will obviously be marketing on, on, um, on our social media type of um, platform that we we personally use patrick being being a um, being from the or coming from the the advertising industry being a creative director himself for a very long time is also going to be involved in assisting assisting the wine oak with with ad, advertising and layouts and all all that type of thing and then obviously well your companies your company itself will also be welcome to assist us in, in getting the brand out there we will definitely yeah, I mean, from, from Fish Rush Club Media's point of view as well, um, you know, and from the podcast, uh, we're really um, doing a lot of uh, uh, work to get the Fish Rush Club brand out in South Africa and also worldwide. So, so you're right. Um, so your own strategy is also going to involve, I assume, a lot of um, social media interaction. You plan, are you planning any, any, any new strategies or are you just going to follow the system that's working at the moment? We're just going to stick to what's working. Well, if, if something works, then it's not necessary to change it, I, I believe. But we will we will put heads together um, with the Fish Fives Club, social media, um, with Patrick and yourself, put heads together and see if there are any new avenues because I believe that that um, uh, we, you need to move with what's happening. And, and if something changes or we see there's a, a scope or opportunity to do stuff differently that will work, we'll try that for sure. Oh, that's awesome. Peter, um, can you tell us a little bit more about the wines that you'll be selling? Um, have you, do you have some information on that? Yes, well, the range is, is, is obviously, it, there's the Sauvignon Blanc, there's the Chardonnay, there's the Pinotage Rosé, a Merlot, and then a Cabernet Sauvignon as well. So okay. those five. Those, those five. five. So when somebody orders, uh, are there minimum amounts? That, I mean, can they order one bottle um, or, or what is the minimum amount? No, well, we order one case, which, which uh, consists of six bottles per cultivar. So we don't do mixed boxes at this stage. We might look at it in the future, but at this stage, it's six bottles per cultivar per, per case of wine. Okay. And minimum orders is, is one. So that's one case. And, and um, will delivery be included in that order? Yes, yes, we will. It's a net price delivered at the door of the client, irrelevant of, of where they stay. Okay, that's amazing. So you're basically building a countrywide distribution system um, for this wine? Yes, we are exactly that, yes. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you're planning? Um, I, I, I know that Patrick is planning a, 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 a new canned wine. Is this something that you're going to add to your store over time? Most definitely. Well, that's probably the most exciting most exciting uh, thing happening in the Fish Fives Club and, and both Patrick and myself, and I think yourself as well, we're extremely excited because if you compare to, to other products which are already canned on the market, um, it's, it's just in a total, total different league, the, the, the branding of, of what's coming on, on the Fish Fives Club canned wine. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it is exciting. I think, I think it's going to be a great product. Um, and uh, uh, so, so um, I, I know Patrick has done some pre pre market testing, and it's, it seems to be very very favourable. Um, so we don't have an uh, uh, indication yet when that will be on your shop, do we? Well, we probably it's it's a guesstimate at this stage because of, of planning ahead at the at the wine farm itself. 
but I'm thinking probably it's going to be October. It will be ready for for um, for retail sales, if all so, goes according to plan. So Peter, if somebody uh, listening to this and they, they want to get wine or, or maybe place a pre-order or want to do something, how do they get hold of you? Well, on the um, on my Facebook page, the Wine Oak, my contact detail is on there, being my cell phone and and, and my email address. And they're welcome to give me a call and I will gladly assist them. No problem at all. Okay. Well, we'll put the links down in, in, in the description. Um, yeah, so that's that's very exciting. Um, I mean, uh, the Fish Rocks Club uh, distribution uh, really going online and um, looks like um, it's going to make a big impact um, in the market. So uh, good luck with that. Um, is there anything else that you want to add to, to, to um, at the moment? I mean, I'll definitely be talking to you on a regular basis to get updates on, on you know, what will happening and stuff like that. Well, at this stage, I just want to firstly thank yourself for your input and assistance from, from your, you personally. And then obviously Patrick as well for, for affording us the opportunity to, to start and get involved in his brand. I think it's, a, it's, a, it's an absolute uh, wonderful opportunity. And I'm, I'm really, really excited about the brand myself. And like I said, everybody that's, that I talk to and show, and they all, they absolutely, they just love it. So I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a great opportunity. And I think it's going to be um, a wine that you're going to probably have in every second household, hopefully every single household, but every, it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. We can't wait to, to, to hit the ground running. You sound like Bill Gates who said there's going to be a PC in every household. So that's that's a, if, if if we can get it into every household just in South Africa, that would be fantastic, right? So so yeah, <laughs> wonderful. Peter, thank you very much. Um, um, I know you're busy, and um, you know, good luck with the launch. Um, we'll definitely, obviously, be in contact um, uh, um, all the time uh, because um, there's there's lots of things happening. So I want everybody that's listening to this. You know, just uh, to, to watch um, all the Fishwives Club and, of course, Peter's uh, social media as well. Uh, the links are all down in the description. And um, thank you, Peter, and uh, good luck with your launch. Thanks so much, Well, Thank you for the opportunity and have a good one. Thank you for listening to today's show. Please subscribe to get the latest episodes. All the links are in the description. Have a great day. Cheers.